Today I'm going to be putting this EVO 1 into this 07 Chrysler 300. This system is going to be an alarm remote start combo. I'm going to add a drone telematics kit so I can use the smartphone, uh, do the GPS tracking, do all the stuff online through the phone, which should be a real joy. Um, this car's alarm that's in there now currently has had it, so it's time for a new system. So here it goes. So here we are at the workbench. I'm going to open up all the parts that come with the EVO. I'll show you how I'm going to prepare this system. So there's my module. Now inside here, should you need any more information than you would have on the guide, this is just the guide that I just had in that last section of the video, just printed, where I printed out the actual schematic, which I'll bring out to the vehicle. Programming for the key and programming the EVO function itself. Also the note about the drone pinouts. If you watch, I also have another video about doing the drone. There's just some, um, a little bullet and you have to make it a small adjustment with the harness for that. So I'll put a link so that way you can check that out as well. So in this kit you have the hood pin. So if you wanted to have it so that way when you open the hood, you can have a pin switch, disable the remote start for safety purposes. I already have one of those in my car. It's a mercury switch. So I'm not going to bother using that. Now I also have the T harness, which I had an option, um, which I, I'm using separately. So this one here is going to go into one side. This is going to go to the other. So there's the T. Now the other half of the T harness, you have already the red plug and you have this white. So basically the white is this one, so you don't need two of those. The red is here, so you can discard that as well. So all you're left with is your red plug, your white, you got your four pin data plug, which is your power and your ground and that, and this yellow wire I'm also going to utilize and need. According to my instructions, I do not need the purple wire. For neatness sakes, I'm going to get rid of that, cut it short because I don't want it there. Everything else you can button up with just a simple wire tie, which I'm gonna, you'll see as I go along. This one here, by the way, is also the programming switch. I'm going to run this out. And this one here is your 26-pin. 26 26-pin 26 harness, although this thing looks threatening to some people, you can look. On the instructions, you only need one, two wires. The ignition and you need the parking light output so for me it's telling me that I need the pink for my parking lights and my yellow for the ignition so there they go all of this other stuff actually do I need this one too green red I do. I need the green red. That is my MUX output, which is super important. All this other stuff, I don't need any of it. Now, I'm just a neat freak, so I don't like all these extra wires bundled up under my dash. So I'm going to neatly cut these a little shorter. Saves me all of this. Adios. This is all I really need, all right? Just zoom back a little bit because it might be a little tough for you all to see everything I'm doing. So once I started with that, and I have the three connections that I'm going to need according to my instructions. I'm just going to insulate all the stuff that I'm not going to utilize. And all I'm left with is what I do need. So there's that one. Okay, there you go. Now this one here is my program switch or slash valley switch. It does two functions. I'm going to twist this just because it's what I do. So hang on, grab the drill. What I'm going to do is just put this in right there. I'm not going to attach it to this because if I twist it, I could break this. I don't want to break this. I just want to twist it up nice. So all I'm doing is I'm taking this drill holding the wire taut up here in a safe location. You don't have to get crazy. But this just keeps things nice and neat. And that's just the way I work. Because that's how I do things. And I'm going to do the same thing with this harness right here because of my instructions it calls for ignition, starter, and constant 12 volts. 
my four pin plug of which are going to have to be hardwired. And those wires that I need to use are what? Red, constant, pink for ignition, yellow for start. These other guys I shouldn't need. Let me just make sure. White is parking light out, put black is ground. We do need that. We don't need accessory. So I'm going to, again, get rid of that. Get rid of that. So this is what I'm left with. I'm just going to repeat what I did to the other harness. So there you go. Now, red is my constant, pink and yellow is my ignition and start. I'm going to take these two guys. Again, grab them right around here. I got the drill on the other end. There you have it. So there's my harness. I'm going to run this up to a factory bolt, my ground, my constant 12 volts. And there's my my starter and my ignition. I'm just going to take a couple of P ties. So there's my primary ignition harness, power harness. It's going to go like so. Okay, so this here, the T harness side, again, just following the instructions. Like I mentioned before, these two harnesses are the same as you're going to find in this T harness here, so you don't need to use them. Just follow the instructions. Whatever the instruction says for your vehicle, that's what you need to do. Okay, so there's my four pin data, which I need. My five pin white harness. And we got the other one, the six pin red, I believe it is. Plug that guy right in there. And that's pretty much it. That's a wrap. Now what I'm gonna do again, I'm sorry, this yellow. I need this yellow. This yellow is an ignition. So I'll show you how we treat that one in just a sec. Now when I mount this, I'm going to use these holes right here. Because you can you can actually strap strap it with a wire tie like so and mount it like that. So I'm going to use this at the top. This is the bottom. So when you do your install, lay it out with some pre-planning. Don't just be all random and do things in a haphazard way because your installation will reflect it. So we're going to run that guy down and right around here, get yourself another tie. Make sure yourself, you leave yourself room where it's accessible for the uh, programming switch and that too as well. Keep, try to keep that in mind. So basically this guy's going to be up against the dash. I don't know, figure this, you're going yeah, you, you're gonna to probably need all that length. So I'm going to go with that. Okay, so we're good. Nothing too tight. This here loop is for manual transmissions. Since this vehicle is an auto trans, we're going to cut that right there. Um, these plugs are not needed. Um, this one here is going to be for the drone telematics uh, smartphone app kit, which I'm going to use. And this is pretty much how your system should look when you're done preparing it. So all you got to do is plug in your T-harness, run your four wires for your power, Ignition, ground, and start. This here, you just mount to any old place wherever you feel comfortable having your programming switch. And this guy here, you're going to also run this yellow with this, since it's going to be in the, in the ignition harness. You could actually just wrap this around, something like that, all right. Just to keep it nice and tidy, what I will do is put a little piece of tape right there. 
and there you go so there's all your current wires right there over here you got your parking lights um, what else was it the uh, the mux wire that's it you even got a ring terminal on the Evo how cool is that I mean this thing just doesn't get much easier than that people so let's take the stuff out to the vehicle I'm gonna pull out the old alarm system and we're gonna start with the new <laughs> 